Can I welcome members to the fourth meeting in 2018 of the Delegated Powers and Law Reform Committee. Uh, agenda item one is a decision on taking business in private, and it's proposed we take items six and seven in private. These are correspondence from the Social Security Committee on amendments to the Social Security Bill, and a paper from the clerk setting out, setting out a suggested response to the House of Commons Procedure Committee inquiry on the EU Withdrawal Bill. Does the committee agree to take these items in private? Okay. Uh, agenda item two is consideration of instruments subject to the affirmative procedure and no points have been raised by our legal advisers on the draft proceeds of Crime Act 2002, searches under part five, constables in Scotland, code of practice order 2018, the draft courts reform Scotland Act 2014, consequential and supplemental provisions order 2018, the draft national bus travel concession scheme for older and disabled persons, Scotland, Amendment Order 2018, and the Draft Community Care, Personal Care and Nursing Care, Scotland, Amendment Regulations 2018. Is the committee content with these instruments? Okay. Uh, agenda item three is consideration of instruments subject to the negative procedure. So we've got Community Care, Provision of Residential Accommodation out with Scotland, Scotland Amendment Regulations 2018 SSI 2018-16. These regulations amend the Community Care Provision of Residential Accommodation out with Scotland Regulations 2015 to reflect that as respects Wales and, quotes, appropriate establishment for the provision of residential accommodation out with Scotland is a place at which a care home service within the meaning of part one of the regulation and inspection of social care Wales Act 2016 is provided wholly or mainly to persons aged 18 or over. Regulation one provides that the regulations will come into force on the 3rd of April. It's intended that the commencement date should be the 2nd of April, being the commencement date of the relevant provisions of the 2016 Act referred to within Regulation 2.2. The Scottish Government has undertaken to lay a further instrument which will revoke the regulations and substitute equivalent regulations which would come into force timelessly. Does the Committee agree to draw the regulations to the attention of the Parliament on the general reporting ground as they contain an error in the date when they will come into force? Okay. And does the committee agree to note the Scottish Government's intention to lay a further instrument to correct the error? Okay. Uh, no points have been raised by our legal advisers on SSI 2018, 22 and 27. So is the committee content with these instruments? Okay. Agenda item four is consideration of instruments not subject to any parliamentary procedure and no points have been raised by our advisers on SSI 2018, 25 and 26. Is the committee content with these instruments? Okay. So agenda item five uh, is consideration of the delegated powers provisions in the Budget Scotland number two bill. The bill confers one power to make, make subordinate legislation upon the Scottish ministers. Section seven provides that the Scottish ministers may by regulation uh, amend the amounts specified in section 4.2 and 4.3 and schedules 1 to 3. As the Delegated Powers Memorandum explains, the power in section 7 is necessary to permit the Scottish Ministers to amend the bill as enacted to take account of inevitable changes to the government's spending plans during the financial year. Such powers are a standard part of the budget process and are periodically exercised by the government in the spring, summer and autumn. Does the committee agree to report to the Parliament that it's content with the delegated power conferred on the Scottish Ministers in the Bill and the procedure to which that power is subject? Content. Okay, I'll now move the meeting into private session.